Hi, Sandra. I hope this video finds you and James doing well. Uh, I received your email asking the question about editing the uh, footer area of the page and the header in the footer area uh, involves different software than you know, what you've been using. Uh, what the situation is, is that the changing the body of the web page has been uh, easier to do with different software for a number of years. The challenge has been with the header and footer areas that stay consistent or possibly change on different pages. Uh, has it been a little bit more complicated for the software coders? Um, and so it's involved additional software. Maybe about a year and a half ago or so, about, they came out with Beaver Themer. Now we've been use, using Beaver Builder, but Beaver, Beaver Themer allows you to change the header and footer of the website uh, quickly and easily, very similar to using, very similar to using Beaver Builder. It'll take you just moments, minutes to learn and to edit and play around with. So, and then for you to, you know, however long it takes you to, to customize it, but it's not complicated. So with that being said, what I want to show you is that uh, over here under Beaver Builder, you've got Themer Layouts, where it also would appear for you is under Templates. You've got a header and a footer area. And then, you can, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't think you're doing posts, maybe you are. You can set up templates for your posts, so or start your post from scratch if you're doing those for uh, for blogging purposes. But with that being said, uh, what we want to do is go to here to Beaver Themer, uh, Beaver Builder and then Themer Layouts, and click here, or I could have used a shortcut and go to the, I think I, uh, the header or the footer area. This now, so the shortcuts would have taken you directly to the header or footer area. This takes you to the, all the Themer Layouts because you could have many more and some of them active on some pages, some of them active on other pages for a variety of different reasons or seasonal. You may only run them for a season or a certain months of the year, that type of stuff. So with that being said, you asked about changing the footer. So here we are. And then you all end up doing is you can click it here or you go right to the Beaver Builder and click it here. I'll just go ahead and click right here to give you an idea. Go step by step. Got to be patient while it loads. This allows you to start to decide, do you want it on the entire site or only in certain pages or when certain authors, you'd have certain footers for certain authors and that type of stuff. So you get quite complicated adding rules and exclusions. That's probably not what you're going to do at this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then you go here to Beaver Theme or Layout and we'll be right where you'll be able to be patient while it loads. One more second. Still loading. Still loading. Okay. So now you scroll down and we are now, page is downloading. This will show up here in a second. Where that when you hover over these areas, you now will be able to edit them. So just give me one more second while this finishes loading. Depends on your internet connection and the speed of your computer. And don't see that it's doing that. So let's go to footer here area. Let's click on that again. Don't know what happened there, Sandra. I'm not going to redo it, but. Uh, hopefully it'll show up here. Now we got it. Okay. So technology is great when it works the way it's supposed to. So now you can see you can just hover over the different areas and edit them as you want. I think this was the uh, slider you were talking about. So you would just, this is an image carousel, but you could put lots of different sliders. Uh, different software involves different modules or widgets. So some of them look slightly different or they operate slightly different a content slider versus post and that type of stuff. So I'll let you play around. If you have questions, let me know. Hope that helps. Let me uh, click out of this to be say done. And I don't need to do publish. Let's see here. Okay. Well, I'll just end the video here, Sandra. So thanks so much. Hope that helps. Take care. Bye-bye.